Hello, my friend. Welcome back. And today we're going to talk about Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go, if you don't know, was recently released in the United States and New Zealand and I think Australia as well. But it's not released over here. But I've been watching videos of it and I'm going to give you my opinion. I think it looks like fun. I think it looks like a lot of fun. It's cool that you can catch Pokemon in the real world. But, hold on. It doesn't look like it has a very long lasting appeal. What I mean by that is, basically you just keep doing the same thing pretty much over and over again. There's nothing really rewarding for putting hours and hours of your time into it. <laughs> like, you catch Pokemon, you go to the gym, you join a team, what else do you do? But, you know, I mean, they could add something to it, and it might happen. But then that could also be a microtransaction bullshit. So, who knows? I'm probably gonna end up playing it, I mean, it's free. Might even make some videos on it. What else do I want to talk about? Uh, hmm. I think my idea is it'd be kind of cool if, like, they had different things in different areas, I mean, other than different Pokemon, like, if you went to, like, Japan or somewhere, they could have just something, like, some sort of event to do with this game there, that you can't get anywhere else, and that makes people want to go there, makes them want to play the game, you know, makes them want to go to all these different places on the game, and get all these different things. I mean, they have different Pokemon in different places, but it's not really the same sort of thing. Because who actually is that bothered about catching them all, really? Let's face it. Anyway, this has been a pretty unprofessional video. I do apologise, I guess. Uh, I can't afford to have more to say, but I guess I don't really. Yeah, whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. It's good to be putting videos up. And I hope to see you again some other time.